In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create masters. What master slides do is help you to quickly change and edit the font size, type, uh, decoration to that font, whether it might be borders or a glow type effect around each one of the fonts, and uh, just formatting in general. It's a very nice, quick way to apply to all slides, so you don't have to go into each one individually, you know, select, right click, and make a modification to each individual slide. You can do this using a master slide. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is uh, Office 2007, PowerPoint 2007. I'm going to go to View, and then I'm going to go to Slide Master. And then on Slide Master, as you can see, I have my master slide here, and then under it, I have the uh, the other slides that are uh, part of the master slide. So what that means is it's kind of a hierarchy. If I make a change here in this master slide, it will indeed affect all of the other slides under this master master slide. So uh, in this example I have slide number one. If I hover over it and let my mouse sit there for a second it'll tell me this is being used by one slide which makes sense. That's the slide that has the title of my lyrics and then also some some uh, lyrics text. And then my other one here if I hover my mouse over for a second I'm gonna see that this one is applied to slides two through five which also makes sense because this is only the body lyrics so I'm, I no longer have the title of uh, the song on every additional slide so let's let's go ahead and do one thing here let's add uh, let's add a couple of more uh, points to the font size and make it a little bit bigger because as you can see and you saw in the preview before I went to the slide master the font seemed pretty small so let's let's bump that up a little bit so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna bump up the title and you notice I clicked on the master slide here I'm gonna right click and then I'm going to choose let's just say 60 let's just bump it up a little bit for the title part of it now I'm gonna bump up the text portion of it and as you can see it's at 36 so let's just bring it to 40 and then see what happens when we bring it to 40 now here's the trick if you do not do this it's not going to apply to your your actual slides you can't add this new layout to your slides uh, that you're that you're creating or the ones you want to update what you have to do is do control s or save and what that's going to do is it's going to save now this new master that you've modified and then I'm going to go close master and now I'm back here at my my slides and as you noticed it actually already updated it now if I wanted to force an update what I would want to do is I would actually want to clear reset my slide and then apply it to the custom layout that I've created that's the that's a very easy simple way to do that so let's do that to slide number two here let's reset the slide when I reset the slide it actually already applied it to the default because I didn't have any extra modifications done here but let's just say I did I would hit reset the slide and then I would go to layout and then click that particular layout and voila very simple it's all done I can continue to do this to more and more of the songs that I want to pull into this deck here or just opening up a, a brand new PowerPoint uh, presentation with lyrics on it and then applying these these new modifications so very simple again it's under the view and then slide master hopefully this was really helpful god bless